Hello, my name is Kenneth Himmler Sr. and today you're going to learn how to compute the interest rate on a loan that you might have. The first most important thing to remember is that the APR or the annual percentage rate is the effective rate that you're going to pay on a loan. Effective means the physical dollars that will leave your checkbook and go to the lender's checkbook. The second thing that you have to understand is that the term of the loan can dictate the amount that you pay in the interest rate. Now, if you have a longer term loan, that's much easier to figure out the interest rate than a short-term loan. As an example, if I took $1,000 and this was a six-month loan and they gave me a flat rate to pay that loan back, and let's say that that flat rate was $50, how do you compute that? Everything with a loan is computed on an annual basis. So what you would do is take the loan interest, the $50, and you would then multiply that by two. And the reason is, if it was a six month loan, you have to compute everything on an annualized basis because you have to have a level benchmark or something even to compare it to. So you take the $50, multiply it by two because there's two six month periods in a year. You would end up with $100. That would assume you had the loan for one year. Now again, I understand you're only having the loan for six months. But to compute the interest correctly, take the $50, multiply it by two, it equals $100. You then divide the $100 into the $1,000 loan that you have. That would equal 10%. Now that's the computation to use for a short term loan. If you have a longer term loan, many times this comes with added expenses, such as loan closing fees, maybe escrow fees, maybe points or PMI. You need to take all of those into consideration when you're looking at long-term loans. But what you do is you figure out what the annual cost of physical dollars leaving your checkbook and going to the lender's checkbook, and you divide that amount into the total amount of the loan. Now, many times, banks or brokerage companies will discount the amount of the loan if you pay points or if you pay additional loan processing fees, don't let that fool you. Because what you need to do is you need to take those additional discount points or loan processing fees, add them back into the total amount that's leaving your checkbook and going to the lender's checkbook, and that's the actual interest that you pay. Let me give you an example. If I borrow $100,000, and the bank quotes me 5% with no points. Or if I pay two points, then they will reduce the interest down to 4%. My question to you is what's the rate that you pay? Well, two points equals 2%. So you could assume that you're actually paying 6%. You're prepaying some of those interest rates. Now, one of my suggestions are is that they have many different websites online that can compute this for you. you. If you're a spreadsheet expert, that's something you could do on your own. But even as a financial planner, I look for the shortest and the quickest way to get the answer that I need. One of the websites I use is dinkytown, D-I-N-K-Y-T-O-W-N.com. There's a lot of different loan calculators, but feel free just to go on your Google or your search engine and type in, how do I figure interest on a loan calculator? And you will come up with many sites. So today, you learned how to compute the interest on a loan. My name is Kenneth Himmler, Sr.